boiler feed water what is my boiler feed water the water feed into the boiler for the production of steam it's called boiler feed water what are the requirements of boiler feed water the boiler feed water should be free from zero hornness hornness what is by hornness the unwanted dissolved salt like calcium salt magnesium salt present in the water it is called as hornness then free from or it should be free from dissolved gases like oxygen carbon dioxide etc and it should be free from suspended impurities and free from dissolved salt and it's free from alkalinity free from turbidity and free from oil and greases so the boiler feed water should be free from all the these are the requirements in case the water containing for hornness suspended impurities dissolved salt alkalinity turbidity oil and grease the boiler feed water facing some of the troubles or effect of boiler what are the effect of uh, these uh, are present in the water so boiler facing four type of disadvantages the first one the formation of salt deposit the salt deposit uh, are two types this is scale and sludges scale and sludges these are the uh, first uh, disadvantages formation of salt deposit scale and sludge and another one is caustic embrittlement second one and third framing foaming and fourth one boiler corrosion these are the four type of disadvantages in case water containing for hornness turbidity oil and grease and um, uh, impurities dissolved salt if present these are the four types of uh, disadvantages happening we are discussing one by one first one formation of salt deposit in case the boiler feed water containing hornness dissolved salt impurity so formation of salt uh, formation of salt deposit so formation of salt deposit so the water continuously uh, water converted into water vapor so water vapor it is called as a steam so the water continuously converted into water vapor what are the dissolved salt and the hornness producing salt in the form of soluble form reaches the saturation point so once it reaches the saturation point it will get for salt deposit so the salt deposit only it will be affected the formation of scale and sludge so the uh, what are the dissolved salt in the present of the large quantity of water so continuously water converted into water vapor so the water water molecules only converted into water vapor so what are the dissolved salt get there the volume of water volume will be decreased while conver conversion of water converted into water vapor so the dissolved salt get their saturation point so the saturation point once reaches they will get a salt deposit the deposit is is called scale and sludge we are discussing one by one what is by scales and what is by sludge scales so the scales are precipitated forms hard and adherent coating on the inner walls of the boiler so it will be sticking on the inner wall of, of the boiler particular thickness so in case the scales formation will happen what are the causes of salt it may be present calcium bicarbonate calcium sulfate magnesium hydroxide are the main so causes of the scales formation so in case the scales formation it's happen what are the effects you will be facing for the boiler inner walls this is the inner walls of the boiler formation of the picture see the picture inner walls of the boiler get salt deposit on the inner walls so what is the scale scale are, are the hard and adherent coating on the inner walls of the boiler it is very thick it will be uh, protecting our heat transfer from the metallic surface into the water it is acting as a thermal insulator so the boiler 
in case the scale formation it is happen what are the disadvantages of uh, boiler boiler so wastage of fuels so the scales acting as a inner walls this is a thermal insulator so poor conduction of heat from metal surface into the water body so we are so we are providing for large amount of heat so the wastage of fuels which is happen once one second one the decrease of efficiency the boiler efficiency will be decreased due to presence of formation of unwanted scale in the inner walls of the boiler so the, we are we are so applying for large amount of heat so in time sometimes it is happen for boiler explosion due to the sudden uh, transfer of heat into metal surface into the water these are the disadvantages of scales present in the boiler feed water so next one sludge so what is this sludge sludge are the loose slimy precipitate on the inner walls of the boiler in case the sludge formation it is happen so what are the uh, sources of uh, salt present in the water so causes like magnesium chloride calcium magnesium by magnesium carbonate magnesium sulfate calcium chloride these are the main sources for causes of the formation of sludge in the in the boiler of the water so the sludge is formation of there in the water what will be happen reduce the heat transfer from bottom to the top of the water so the sludge due to the sludge the salt loose slimy precipitate due to the gravity of the salt precipitate is always in the bottom of the boiler so the heat transfer from the bottom to top of the water it will be minimized so it is acting as a thermal insulator see the picture boiler surface then uh, scale and scale of inner walls of the boiler so sludge it is a loose slimy precipitate the loose slimy precipitate to minimize the heat transfer from bottom into the top of the water so heat to bottom of the water is uh, heat almost 100% so the top of the water is not heating for the heat transfer at to 100% because due to the presence of uh, sludge to uh, acting as a thermal insulator poor conductor so it will be reduce the heat transfer bottom into the top of the water so what are the prevention of scale so scales prevention so what are the methods are followed scale scales can be removed by using scrubber and wire brush so rubbing method so another one is uh, thermal shock so to thermal shock to remove of the layer of uh, scales from the metallic surfaces another one frequently blow down operation what is a blow down operation blow down operation the bottom of the uh, during the maintenance the bottom of the boiler containing for small wall so the uh, boiler steam production will be stopped for heating so the all the salt will be deposited in the bottom of the layer boiler so the valve will be opened the water the salt deposit loose slimy precipitate will be come out from the valve so frequently it will be uh, done you are reducing for the scale formation what are the difference between sludge and scale sludge it is a loose and a slimy precipitate scale it is hard adherent coating on the inner walls of the boiler so sludge it is not harmful harmful for boiler a scale but but is a harmful for boiler for heat transfer sludge can be removed blow down operation scales removed by either external or internal treatment of the boiler thank you if you like like subscribe this channel for the next video thank you